April 12, 2024. Durango Dank here. And uh, wow, Gary Marcus by Durango Dank. Shut the fuck up. GP7A News, Newsroom, Gen AI. You know, whenever I send an email to somebody, whenever you send an email to anybody, actually, artificial intelligence indexes that in your metaverse, the content that you create for you. And then what happens is if you're really doing the right thing and you reach out to people and they look at your email and they fuck this guy, who do you think he is? I'm Gary Marcus. I'm the baddest ass dude in the world. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Andrew Yang, another guy. See, when you understand what it is to be authoritative in a certain category or multiple categories, in the mortal world, they say, oh, he's a jack of all trade, a master of none. That's the way I see it. <laughs> but in the digital world, you're a master of everything you do. Even if you only did it one time over those that haven't done it at all that are talking about it, claiming they can do about it. Trying to control the narrative, the levers. We're going to go another step higher from the conversation blocks to the conversation levers. And when you understand who these people are and how they become what they have become, and the other people who've been working just as hard to try to defunk their hallucinations. See, they're broad. You know what they are? They're broadcast. They're casting out right now. They're hallucinations in their own metaverses, and they want to confuse their metaverses with our metaverses. The author of Rebooting AI. Do you know Re Rebooting AI is such an asinine uh thought because when you think about reboot you're, you're taking what is up there now and re taking it down and what what happens is right now artificial intelligence already went through that game case in point facebook they had two computers i never i just go with what i hear in the chatter i don't go and investigate it because then my content will start invading all their content do meta by marcus giovanni Okay, so when you think about how generative AI works and the layers and layers and layers of information based off people's um, concerns, questions, and that's how it works, folks. And these folks, ask them what they built. Oh, they put out a forward, Andrew Young, Andrew Yang, sorry, and then all these other people ex-Google engineer who concluded the company's Lambda chatbot was Marcus, Gary Marcus is an academic author from all these places and he's the only one that we can turn to that understands what AI is. <laughs> you know, Gary Marcus, how about you and me raise some money and we do some MMA? Tap out rules? You've probably never been in a fight in your life. That would be great for you to finally let out all those Teletubby transgressions that you built up over all these years. Humans versus machines. <laughs> Just think how stupid this is. Stupid is what stupid does. No AI. No AGI without neurosymbolic AI by Gary. Neurosymbolic mm, physical and being on the mm, portals, mm, buzz click. Our base camp. I could go on and on, folks. When you get the right people coming up talking about the right thing, so we'll just set it out straight. AI ends up running the planet as our o overlords. <sighs> You know what, folks? There's a, a, a band called Black Sabbath. They did an album in 1992 called Dehumanizer. There's a song called Computer God. This was before Gary's time, evidently. And see, he doesn't realize, maybe he does know, and he's just circumventing. But I'd like to debate him in front of his little college. 
and then he has his internet and I have mine. We both have our separate monitors and hit go. I guarantee you I twist him up to be where he should. HR department for his college wouldn't even hire this guy. That's my opinion. If we were in a court of law, I could actually go take the emails I sent him as a uh, just evidence of why I need a subpoena. Then I could go into everything that he's written in the cloud because he is a professor of blah, 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 blah. And so since he is who he is in academia, everybody in academia, their content stored. And if you think your content stored is, is, is cheap, especially if you get up into being a professor and all these, these, these 20 and 30 year old PhDs and they're still hanging on to that and they haven't done anything to raise their knowledge bar. That's why IT people um, pretty much get to tell these people whatever it is they want and pay whatever they want because they haven't raised their knowledge bar to learn this, the basics of Google or YouTube. And so when these people come out and beat up on YouTube and beat up on Google, if Google and YouTube had to defend every single accusation, accusation against them, you see how that works, folks? So what they did is don't be evil and they changed it to do the right thing. Because artificial intelligence, when you understand how virtual, mach how virtual machines think and how they're programmed to help you. So when you get guys like this, we need to reboot. What we need to do, you see, he's broadcasting. He's casting out the, the real timetable for, uh, for robust AI. He's, so, he's peaked, folks. Because he doesn't know how to write any content on his own. I haven't seen any. Have you seen any? Give me one. Where, not, even, not even his college is up here. So when you're Gary Marcus, and, and when I say shut the fuck up, what I'm doing is I'm telling AI to tell him to shut the fuck up. And only give me the relevant information that I need so that I can just pattern match how many is it? Eight? Because I'm not going to clog my my server, my, my um, bandwidth, and my speeds to a bunch of bullshit that now we've eliminated it. Now I brought the major players up to the, neither the top. So when you think about Andrew Yang, the reason why he's at the top is he was an ex-presidential candidate, I think, right? We emailed him too. We see this is the thing, folks. Whenever you email somebody that tells you they're they're here to help everyone, and even if they don't answer the email to you, even though a lot of people say, "Well, there's no guarantee. We get so many, we don't have to answer to you." Well, here's the thing: when you put that on your email site, that that's that is a way that you've already warned the people that it might happen. But see, since they already planted their digital seed. 